They're still going home for the holidays. The airports today packed with travelers going ahead with their holiday plans despite the relentless onslaught of Omicron. This girl on her way to grandma's is double masked. We're just not going to touch anything. This girl got her hands on a high grade mask. We're all wearing N95s. Once on the plane, virologist Dr. Paula Cannon says never take off your mask. Even if there's food or drink available, I would kind of say, you know, maybe this is not the time to have that delicious airplane food. Maybe you can actually make it all the way through the journey without needing to eat or take your mask off. The cleanest air is from the nozzle above you. Dr. Cannon recommends pointing it straight down and turning it on full blast to create a cone of fresh filtered air. Omicron is now the dominant strain of COVID in the United States. Making up more than 73% of new cases. This is not March of 2020. 200 million people are fully vaccinated. We're prepared. We know more. President Biden today urged Americans to stick to their holiday plans as long as they're fully vaccinated. I know some Americans are wondering if you can safely celebrate the holidays with your family and friends. The answer is yes, you can. Another sign that we're in the midst of a surge, cans of chicken noodle soup are running low. Some shoppers are reporting empty shelves. And while chicken noodle soup is obviously not a remedy for COVID, some studies have shown that it does have anti-inflammatory properties and can help relieve symptoms. It's also a soothing comfort food in these stressful times. Dr. Fauci had some hopeful news today as he made the TV rounds, predicting that the surge may end as quickly as it began. We hope that when we do get a peak soon, and it will be soon, it's gonna be a matter of a couple of weeks, that we then start to see just as dramatic a decline. He also blasted Fox News host Jesse Waters for encouraging conservative college students to confront him in public. Brave college student confronts Lord Fauci at dinner. The kill shot with an ambush, deadly, because he doesn't see it coming. People should be giving me a kill shot to ambush me. I mean, what kind of craziness is there in society these days? That's awful that he said that. Fox News says that Waters was using a metaphor for asking hard-hitting questions to Dr. Fauci. His words have been twisted completely out of context. I have COVID. CNBC's Jim Cramer has been stricken with the virus. He displayed his positive rapid tests on the air. I tested in the morning. I didn't have COVID. Tested in the evening. I had COVID. And ESPN's Stephen A. Smith has also been sidelined with a mild case of COVID. I'm feeling fine, mild symptoms. Uh, thank God I was vaccinated. 